The SEX NEVOMAT self-leveling shock assembly is completely self-contained. No separate components or power sources required. The shocks provide automatic self-leveling operation while retaining wheel travel and full damping functions for good ride characteristics in many different load conditions. The actions of the shock can be divided into four operations. Normal damping, like any shock absorber, the self-leveling pump action, and the bypass and release actions. The vehicle must be operated for the self-leveling function to occur. These four operations are all contained in the compact shock assembly using a network of ports and low pressure and high pressure oil chambers. Here we're showing the shock assembly in a two-dimensional graphic to better explain these four operations. The operations of the shock shaft have been divided into three separate sections. The normal damping action is illustrated in the left section. The self-leveling pump and bypass operations are primarily represented in the middle and the release operations in the right section. When the unit is driven with a low overall load, maybe just the driver, the unit will be at the proper ride height designed by the factory. At this point, the rear shocks have normal damping action and the oil is circulating through the bypass circuit and low pressure site. We'll refer to this as the normal damping zone. When the unit is driven with a higher overall load, with a full load of passengers and gear, for example, the rear of the unit is pushed down and the shock is compressed to a shorter overall length. New ports and passageways are now active inside the shock and the bypass port is closed, so shock oil is pumped into the high pressure chamber, pulling from the low pressure side. The check valves are directing the oil flow and trapping the oil into the high pressure chamber. This is the pumping zone. This compresses the high pressure bladder, increasing the internal gas pressure, and the bladder, of course, pushes back against the oil. Since liquids cannot be compressed, the oil pushes the shock shaft back out, raising the rear of the unit. The oil is trapped into the main shock chambers by the check valves, keeping the shock shaft extended. When the designed ride height is reached, the bypass port opens again and no more oil is pumped into the high pressure side. Call this the bypass zone. If the shock shaft extends past the designed ride height, call this the release zone. The release port opens and oil can freely flow back into the low pressure side. The shaft can then be compressed back into the shock body and the designed ride height is again achieved. The release port also opens when the vehicle load is reduced, like when the vehicle stops and everyone gets out, for example. The rear of the unit raises up and the shaft extends as the load decreases. As the oil flows back to the low pressure side, the rear may drop a little, but the unit will need to be driven a short distance to allow the suspension to settle and the shocks to fully self-adjust for the current load. The pumping, bypass, and release operations all continually automatically occur as the unit is driven to maintain the designed ride height and wheel travel in many different load conditions, all while keeping normal damping operation for a smoother, more comfortable ride. And again, the vehicle must be driven for the self-leveling function to operate. It might take a few moments of driving. The more the shock shaft operates while being compressed down in the pumping zone, the quicker the unit will self-level.